able to open this series with our very own and his own very own Carl Stanley from Church 3. Come on up, Carl. I have a bit of a cold, so forgive me if I sound a little nasally. Um, we always start the Church of the Three out with a prayer. So I know we've already done a lot here and prayed already, but I would like to start out with a small prayer. So if you could, bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Family, thank you for bringing this earthly family together. Thank you for giving us this wonderful place for allowing us to come together and share openly what we believe. Unity is like all faith, and today I hope that you will allow me to express that in a good way. Aho matakwiasen, so mote be, amen. Okay. So just like I couldn't ask one of you to come to my church and preach about unity of the Redwoods without first talking about the unity movement, I can't talk about the Church of the Three without first talking about the all-faith movement. Um, I'm going to try to keep it really short. So I want to kind of start off with a little bit of an experiment. If you could raise your hand if you are not following the same religion or faith that your parents followed, or if you're not doing the same line of work that your parents did. Okay. Keep your hands up for a second. Got one more question for you. Keep your hands up if you try to do good deeds within your community whenever you can or however you can. Okay. Anyone who still has their hands up is following all faith. It's that simple. If you are walking in your own steps and in your own path and following your own faith and not just taking what's given to you but going, hmm, is that right for me? And trying to do good in your world, you are following all faith. We're that open. It's that simple. Um, now, do, ooh, excuse me, I'm not used to microphones. <laughs> um, just like all, or unity has three, or five core principles. Um, excuse me. I want to take a deep breath because I'm a little nervous. Okay, so just like all faith, or unity has five core principles, all faith has three. And they're very, very similar to unity's five principles, and so I thought we would cover them. The first one is that it is part of our faith and our belief to study all religions and all faiths, and to allow others to do the same, or not to do the same if that is what they choose. That can basically be broken down into one word, learning. We care about learning. Studying how others celebrate the divine energy. We figure out ways for ourselves to connect with that same energy. It's also about learning that what is right for us doesn't necessarily have to be right for our neighbor. And how to come together as individuals and celebrate our unity. Now our second principle is kind of like my favorite one. Um, it says that as individuals, we can survive, but it takes a community working <laughs> together to thrive. That can be broken down to one simple word, community. We care a lot about our community, more about our communities than we do ourselves. We try to thrive, to work towards a better community more than ourselves, because we know that by doing so, our own needs will always be met. Now, our third basic principle is actually really taken and was taken from Unity's principles. Um, with a few wording alterations. And it says that through song, prayer, and meditation, and ceremony, we connect with the divine energy or energies, 
and bring about good in our lives and the lives of others. Um, I don't think there's much else that really needs to be said about all faith. All faith is truly that simple. It means coming together without judgment. Whether you believe in one divine energy or a plethora of divine energies, we welcome you to come and share your energy with us. Um, now, as it says on my talk, Church of the Three. So, what can I say about the Church of the Three? Let's see. We can start off with our history. We've been around for 10 years. Um, we initially opened in a garage. <laughs> uh, from there, we did parks. We did uh, two meetings, actually, at the cafeteria at the mall. Um, and each week, we just gathered together. And at the beginning, we were very loose. We only had one rule, and that rule was be respectful. Be respectful of everyone else, what they believe. If we asked people not to say things like, oh, this is the only way to get to heaven. We asked you to say, this is the way I believe I'm going to get to heaven. Or not to say, God forbids you from doing that, but to say, I believe God forbids me from doing that. And by just making those simple word changes in our languages, we were able to bring, oh my goodness, we've had rabbis, we've had Wiccan priestess, we've had shamans, we've had, oh, Asatru leaders, we've had people from juggalos to, um, let's see, about eight years ago, we even had, for three weeks, a follower of Aton Le or Anton LaVey come and to our church and actually stood up and speeched peacefully without offending anyone else. It was very wonderful that everyone could come together no matter what their different belief was. Now, as time progressed, it wasn't so much just a circle of people getting together and talking anymore, but people wanted more of a church atmosphere. And we eventually ended up coming to almost what happens here. I mean, that's why we love unity so much, and we thought this was going to be such a great meeting, is because our church service is almost the same. Um, we start off with a meet and greet. Now, our meet and greet, like your meet and greet, but a little different, we go around the room and we say our first name and what religion or walk of life we, re we um, fit closest to, follow. Some of us say Christianity, many of us say unity and Church of the Three. Um, some just say studying life, exactly. And the main point of that is that not to segregate or go, ooh, you're this faith and you're this faith, but to help us at the Church of the Three get new guest speakers in of faiths of the people that are there and also of faiths that no one has said so that it opens their mind to new ideas. Um, each week we have a different guest speaker, so I'll get on to that. The next part is our reading. Now I actually brought, and they're available here and have been for a while at the back of the church, um, books of the three. Each week, surprisingly, we usually have someone that has not been there before. And we ask them before church to pick two numbers. One is a page number, and one is one, two, or three, the quote, because they're all three quotes on each page. So I thought real quick, I might ask one of you who have never been to the church of the three, like you, to give me a number between 1 and 95. 83. So we'll go to page 83. And what do you there in the red? Can you give me one, two, or three? Two. Two. So then our quote for the day would be, which is very much like your... Uh, <laughs> no one knows what one can do until one tries. That's a very, very good truth. So let's pick, I'm just going to scroll to speed time and pick randomly a second one. Somebody want to give me, Tom, you want to give me one, two, or three? Three. three. The bow too tensely strung is easily broken. Bow. Did I say bow? Yeah, please do that. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from English as a second language, forgive me. <laughs> um, now the next is thing that happens after that after our reading, is our pledge. And I actually, which we call an affirmation, I ha should have it on there. It's right oh, there. Oh, it's right at the bottom. Okay, never mind. I thought it was going to be the next page. <laughs> so if you'd like to join with us, 
this is something we say each week, and uh, I believe it's something that you all uh, will enjoy and get inspired by. So, we honor Mother Earth as our planet. We embrace all humanity as our kin. We offer love as our prayer. We extend peace and happiness to all life. Our hearts beat as one with all creation. Now, something I haven't mentioned that I noticed is not even in my talk is the Church of the Three. That stands for peace, love, and happiness. That's what the three is. And if you notice, they're in there. Love as our prayer, peace, and happiness to all life. It's kind of our, our core beliefs even more than our principles. After our pledge is our songs. Um, I brought a songbook if anybody's interested after church during Connection to look through it. Um, I'd say about 40% of the songs are from Native American culture. I would say at least 20 of them were actually written by our own members, which is what I find really wonderful. Um, they're all drum songs. They're all within three or four verses, and they're very simple to learn, very easy to memorize. Um, and that's... We, we connect easier with that way, not because we're not used to the traditional hymnals, but it's very hard to find a hymnal from one religion that is accepting to all, or doesn't use a PC term that we couldn't accept to, that wouldn't offend one faith. So we've ended up often writing our own, and they've been really wonderful. Um, Opening Up in Sweet Surrender was, is one of our songs that we sing at least every once a month within church. Um, Next comes our guest speakers. Like Unity, we have many guest speakers. Um, matter of fact, a few of our guest speakers have come from here. <laughs> um, the difference, I would say, is, is that what she, Nancy was trying to say is that she's starting to bring in different faiths here and what, have them express what we, they believe. That's what we do every week. Um, each week, we have a different guest speaker from a different religion or a different walk of faith. Um, it's part of our core principle of studying every religion. Sometimes, when I can't arrange a guest speaker to come, I'll get up there and I'll talk about something. Or we have a regular who speaks once a month on a different religion that she studies each month for us to make sure that we have somebody to fill in that slot. And um, that's... That's pretty much what I can say about guest speakers. We've, as I said earlier, we've had people like you would not believe. Some people who normal churches would never accept as a speaker, um, except for maybe Unity. <laughs> we've had, you know, yoga masters or Reiki, Reiki masters. Um, we've had Buddhist, Baha'i, um, multiple Wiccan. Uh, from different factions that spoke on different aspects of that, and many, 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 many people from different new thought movements. Um, after that comes our second song, which I've already talked about songs, so I don't really need to say that. It's the same thing you guys do here, a second song. Then we have announcements, a break, and then connection time. Now, our connection time is probably what brings most people to our church. It is a truly moment of open compassion and acceptance. We circle up our chairs. We drum an opening song to bring a spiritual awareness and unity together. And then we pass a talking stick that allows each person in our group to go how their week has been. And if they've had a bad week, one of our elders will come by with sage or an incense and they'll pray with them during that time, and if they've had a good week in their time, we'll all shout out joyously and have a joyous moment. Um, it's really wonderful to see each week that community growing and bonding more as a family, getting to know one another and truly show compassion for one another. Now, I'm, I'm running out of time, and I wanted to speak just a few things on miracles and answered prayer, because each week you see me probably here with a box of prayers that is matched from the prayers over there. Um, two miracles in the last month have happened. Both of them deal with uh, tumor, or excuse me, strokes. The people had a stroke, 
They went into the hospital. We prayed about it and that put it in the prayer box. The next day, they were released from the hospital with no signs of damage. Um, that is just two out of hundreds of examples that I can give you of how prayer works. So continue to use that powerful prayer between this church and that chair. When we combine all of your energies and all of our energies, it's amazing what happens. Truly, truly amazing. Um, I think that's it. All right. Thank you for letting me come and talk.